What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so tired right now. You sound tired. It is 821. We're getting Starbucks. We're barely on our way out. And we're actually gonna go to Orange County today. But I feel so fucking tired, dude. I feel so drained. And she always has to drive because I get anxiety and you know, don't ask like why isn't Rosie driving if you're so tired. But I still got it. She's not gonna wait. Yeah. She's fall asleep. I got a minty cold brew, so hopefully I feel like that's the only Did you coffee. already put them on? Because you have like a whole order um, that I feel people would yeah, be interested in. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. I think you did too last yeah. time. But uh, I, that, I feel like that's the only coffee that really kind of like works on me. Not that it like gives me energy, but like it kind of like, I don't know, like I just don't feel tired anymore. But not that I like get all hyper because I know some people get like hella hyper after drinking coffee. Like it really fucks them up. Who do you know that gets hella hyper? There's a lot of people, like, that's why people drink coffee. If, for example, you, you become a little crackhead. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes. But, uh, today we're gonna go meet up with the owner of a badass Chevy, and we're gonna create some content for you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I believe his isn't a trail boss, it's the RST, but that shit looks nice. Like, that shit is really, really nice. So, yeah, stay tuned. She's more I excited like, than she sounds. Yeah, I'm I'm just super <laughs> tired, bro. But I feel like the, like uh, one of the characters in like Terminator when they go like this. <laughs> By the way, guys, my name is Aurora. Aurora, however you want to pronounce it. And then that's why you right there. Rocio. R O C I O. Yes. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, I love your tattoo. Thank you. Thank you need your missy? Um, no, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you should have told her, yeah, I also have a Spider-Man Spider sunshade. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I, and I also have a Spider-Man um, phone holder, a, a bob head. You have another Spider-Man tattoo. No, this is a flash. Uh, well, where's the other one at? On both hands? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot. What else? Oh, she has a Spider-Man lanyard. Yeah. She gotta just tat her Spider-Man on her fucking above her eyebrow. Oh yeah, Peter Parker right here. <laughs> For real. Hey man, I bro. You should. Hey, you're really a fan, huh? Oh uh, yeah. Or I could get a spider right here. That might just be my next. That one would too. be sick, dude. Get a spider right here, dude. But that the would worst be part though sick. is that like everybody is gonna be like, I'm gonna have to wear turtlenecks sometimes. Well, it just yeah, it just depends because she's in the military, so. That'd be dope though. I kind of like I that I think idea. that would be so hard. I've always wanted a tattoo behind my ear too. That would be kind of hard. No but that can't. would. No like, cap, right that would be kind of hard. It will. My parents would kill me though. She's Wait. 24. Okay, yeah, She's about to be 24 and she over here tripping. Welcome, huh? And she pays a fucking bill, so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you need some stuff or anything for Um, no, we're fine. Thank you. You Thank too. You. All right, so bag secured, huh? I'm scared. It kind of doesn't look like how their street was. <laughs> it looks orange. Do to you want to try it first? I mean, I can if you want me to. Yeah, I do. I'm just scared. I mean, I'm still gonna try it, but turn left onto Dennis McCarthy Drive. Then turn left onto the. It's good, road. but it's really sweet. Okay, yeah. It was sweet yesterday too. Super really like sweet. sweet. I don't think I'm a fan of pumpkin now that I think about it. Mm, it's not bad at all. It tastes a lot like pumpkin though. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Let me show you guys what I get though. Oh my god, it's so good. Hopefully, I hope that focuses. Mm. And this is what she got. Let me see. It looks like orangey on the top. I don't think you can tell through the camera, but it's bomb. I like it. Alright, see you guys in Orange County. Cheers. Oh, uh, she's already <laughs> drinking it. No cheers, Oh, I that's guess. gas. That's definitely gas. So, we actually just met up with Mark. And tell me that is not a beautiful, beautiful color on that Chevy Silverado. Let me tell you guys, today is going to be crazy. There might be a little bit of racing. We might show off a little bit of his mods. See how much he's spent throughout his mods. Let's see how today goes. And for now, 
go ahead and enjoy the scenery of us pulling up to the spot. So right now we are getting ready, you know, to race a little bit. Let's find out who wins. Uh, are you guys GMC or, or Chevy? What do you guys think? Who do you guys think is going to take it? Let me know down below in the comments. Dug himself in. Literally, look at it. Yo, no way. Look at those. I, I feel like mine weren't that bad. Not that bad. His are pretty deep, though. Pretty, pretty deep. Dude, yours are crazy deep. What happened? Yours are crazy deep. Look, look at mine. Fun. Yeah, yours. Wait, you, just, you left. You left nothing behind. I <laughs> dug a hole for like 10 <laughs> seconds. You just left. Uh, I don't You might need a dealer, but I'm here. You're gonna need yeah, you might need a DMC. You Maybe. might need an you know AC4. You know what I think what it really is? I got way more power than you. That's why I'm just digging holes. That's really what's going on here. That just might be it. You're just putting power down on the ground that is being out here on the mountain. <laughs> that takes the drag to one end. That's what you're talking. <laughs> okay. Today, we are here with the owner of the nicest of the lime green Silverado yeah, RST. Exactly. Yeah, this thing has been <laughs> much different than it was the day I bought it. I'll say that much. That's crazy, though. So, yeah, matte lime green on the wrap. I have the T Rex grill with the light bars, too. Have you ever turned those on? Four inch lip. These things are bright. Yeah. You see them right now? Yeah, actually, no. I've actually not really turned them on, to be honest. The really? I put them on there, I, I, I turned them on to see if they work. 
That was it. Oh, no oh, way. I'm sorry. No ample warning. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Whoa, those are crazy yeah, right there. Bright. Let's see. Turn on all your lights. My headlights? Yeah. That looks crazy right there. Yeah. Dang. That's yeah, bright, super bright though. Super, super bright. Yeah, T-Rex makes really nice grills. It fits perfect. They make uh, grills for the GMC um, Sierras too. No way. They make really nice grills for that too. But that was one thing I had to do on the Silverado because the, the grill that came with the Silverado, just for me, wasn't it. It's a really busy, like plastic looking grill. Mm -hmm. And this thing is really nice. So I had to get that. Okay. Um, aside from that, four inch lift. The, uh, the same one you have, I think, right? Yeah, you yours, have the ready lift, yours right? Is the two inch, right? Yeah. Yeah, so mine's the four. That's four in the front and then three in the rear, which I thought would be level, but there's still a rake, that's for sure. So I think what I'm gonna do very soon is drop down the rear an inch. So just have a two inch block in the rear. Okay. So that, then I'll probably hopefully be level at that point. I mean, it doesn't look too bad though. It, it's got a rake for sure. It, no, it, yeah, it you can see it, but. I'd rather have like a little lean in the back than a rake at all. Okay. That's just me though. So I'll probably drop the rear down an inch lower than it is now. But aside from that, yeah, the four inch ready lift SST kit. It's a real nice kit. It's it's a spacer lift pretty much with the- um, It's super smooth though. It's, it, it's a factory ride. Dude, I a lot of people nothing. like talk bad about it and I'm like, I don't feel anything. Yeah, I didn't, it, it didn't affect my mileage. No, it changes, it changes absolutely nothing. Exactly. Um, because you're retaining your factory ride quality because everything is stock, it's a spacer lift with new upper control arms to cor uh, correct your ball joint angle. That's, exactly. all the, that's all there is to it. Exactly. So a super simple kit, super affordable, nice quality too. So I feel like the upper control arms are really like really, really nice though. They're really nice. They like, look nice too. A lot better than the stock. Oh, they're solid. 100%. Yeah, they're really solid. Um, and then 35 on 22s, Toyo Open Country AT3s, 1250 wides on uh, 22 by tw uh, 10s. Do you have an offset? Positive 10 offset. Positive Yeah, 10. I went positive okay. to push it in more, so I had the option of poking them out later on. Okay, okay. Because I thought there might be an issue with me hitting this bumper if I went too far out. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. Because if they're poked out too far, I'd hit the front bumper when I turn. Oh, okay, so makes sense. I was sense. a little worried about that because it's only a four inch lift kit, not like a six or anything above that. So yeah. I went safe on that one. Um, and nothing, well, it did rub really bad, but I trimmed the, well, I, <laughs> I removed them now until I got the McGoy's um, mud flap delete kit, but I trimmed them first. No way. And now, and it doesn't rub, it didn't rub before I removed them. Now they're removed because I wrapped the truck and I don't want to put the factory ones back on there. So I'm waiting for the McGoy's delete kit and then I'll put those on. But in the meantime, there's no rubbing. And what color is your wrap and what brand? Metro Dynamic Lime Green from the same brand as yours. KPMF. KPMF, huh? yep. I think KPMF they should just sponsor us, to be honest. KPMF, we're, I mean, we're talking to you right now. If you guys want to sponsor us, we love your product. Dude, crazy. Just saying. Crazy, crazy. So I think it's a, honestly, and I've wrapped a lot of stuff. I've wrapped professionally for like years now and I've used a lot of films. KPMF is actually a really, really nice wrap. It's really easy to work with. The finish is really nice. And even though this is a, a matte finish, I don't ever do matte finishes because mm -hmm. they're really dull looking. They scratch really easily and like- I feel like it takes a lot. Like my dogs actually on my last truck, yeah, they're they, durable. they were trying to climb up my truck, like yeah. a boxer, and it shows huskies nothing, huh? and nothing. Yeah, it's actually nothing. really- No it's damages. A very, it's a very nice wrap. Yeah. So I'm super impressed with KPMF. Um, I've always used 3M and Avery. Mm -hmm. and that's just what I like what I knew yeah but KPMF is really nice and like I was saying even though it's a matte finish it's still really like it has a nice sheen to it yeah like it, a lot of matte no, finishes it looks are really they're great. really dead it looks great definitely and with that metallic finish to it also it just, it's really nice looking too so this is yeah, really really nice dynamic lime green from KPMF I love it it's that's such a sick color and I'm not I'm not a fan of green like I'm not a fan of greens normally. Dude, me either. But and I saw I seen this your truck. green, and I was like, "Yeah, that's a, that's a nice green right there." Mm, that's, me either. That's kind of where I was at on that one. When when I saw your truck, I was like, "I would not like this," but looking at it now, I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it like I would even consider it on mine. Yeah, it's like crazy. it's like, crazy. I it get looks compliments really nice. Three times a day in traffic, like people love this color. Dang. Like I'll admit, I was going for something just totally like out there in the wild. Like mm. I wanted something just like, you know, that grabbed your attention. Yeah and blue seemed a little too like low key green this but this green right here i never looked at greens because i don't like greens that much yeah i like blue a lot okay but blue is too subtle and this green i found the green and i was like there this green right here and i was like okay hold on 
I like that green. No, a lot. it looks. I think yeah. if it would have been gloss, it would have been a, a different story. But right, 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 this right. one looks crazy, mm -hmm. like a hundred percent. It yeah, looks and crazy. I'm pretty sure has a, a gloss version of this color, or at least very similar to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's called like electric something something green or whatever. But mm -hmm. that one's pretty cool too. But yeah, this one has a lot of like depth to it it changes a lot too so like in certain lights and like angles of the sun and whatnot you'll see it's like yellow kind of sometimes like a yellowish hue that's how my blue wrap was really? so yeah it yeah, would it would it be depends on the angle of yeah the light. it would be either purple or blue yeah exactly but it wasn't anything like too crazy like chameleon like how the how the what are they what? color uh shifting the wraps, color, shifting the color wraps. flipping wraps yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. wasn't anything crazy like that which i personally liked because it was just like one day it's blue the other day it's like Purplish. That's like, and I've had a color changing wrap on my truck before. Mm -hmm. My 19 Silverado. Yeah. I had the that um, one was pretty crazy satin too. Flip volcanic flare. Okay. And that one went from um, red to gold. Red. And gold. I loved it because it was always a different color. Yeah. Which kept me like entertained because yeah. I get bored easily. So that's why I buy like new trucks mm. so much. I I like the color you have on your Ram as well. The gray is nice. Yeah. It's real subtle. That one's really nice and it's sold out. That's it, the color I was initially thinking. That color of. sold out. Yeah, that it, color 3M, is sold out. 3M colors right now are like near impossible to get on wraps. Yep. You just can't mm -hmm. get them right now so but i like it a lot too it's i was going for something kind of just clean okay not like super out there i was going for something kind of like more subtle stealth and just clean okay. that was a, that was a cool fit that's a cool finish right there for sure what else do you have on here um so the amp running boards which these are great i mean four inch lift kit on 35s definitely increased my my height of the truck and like it's over time like hopping in and out of the truck it's just it's it gets kind of like straining on your legs and like mm -hmm. you know just kind of hopping in all the time is yeah. really kind of a, a, a pain so amp running boards which are like automatically dropping and then go back up those are really nice too and then i put a new rear bumper because my truck came with the um the rear bumper that had no cutouts okay i had that side exit pipe yeah so i put this new bumper on there <laughs> and don't mind the fact that i have no exhaust tips right now because i removed that like cap for the exhaust bezel off of the exhaust tip right there and i'm planning on getting dual or the quad tip dual tip on both sides but okay. either way yeah i put the new bumper on there and i just wrapped my license plate in satin black with the white font on top which is pretty cool in california out here in california they um they come with the white plate with the blue lettering or is it like black or blue or something like that yeah. whatever and then the red california letters and you can purchase from California and wait like nine years for it and then pay an annual renewal fee and upfront cost for the vanity plates, which come in black, a glossy black with um, like a goldish yellow, yeah. Yeah, like a yellowish uh, font. And then um, what color is the California on that one? Uh, is it also gold? I think it's yellow. Yeah, it's I also think like, it's like gold. yellow. OK, so this right here is super unique because in California, you can't do black on white. And those are um, also upgraded last bit lights, right? Oh yeah, the license plate lights are last bits, yeah. I like these a lot better compared to my Sierra. I feel like these are a lot brighter. It Did looks a lot better. I are they stock, I don't remember. They stock halogen like yellow lights? I are think terrible. they are. They're yeah, terrible. I Same think with the reverse lights too. So I have a medium smoke on my tail lights right now and they're they're still super uh, bright. I'm not turning it on right now, but yeah, they're still they're still really bright. Yeah. Last fit. I mean they're really good lights. Um I have last fit in the front turn signals, the reverse lamps, and the license plate bulbs and the um the underglow is the op 7 lighting kit the op okay. 7 truck underglow kit truck so it underglow. came with four strips i can only run two underneath the truck because um behind the wheels here is a bunch of like exhaust and spare tire stuff so i couldn't do the back and i figured if i can't do the back go to the front so i ran the two strips for the front and the grill let me actually get a couple of clips of this Oh, you know. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> yeah. I like green on green. Ah, uh, yeah. Red the blue on green. The red, though. The red was sick when the truck was all black. Yeah, for it sure. It just looked 100%. so, like, sinister and just so sick. Yours is do, onyx black, too, I can right? I do that. Uh, yeah, mine's onyx black, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, this, this is, like, seizure warning. We need one can, of those. Yeah, the lights can dance a little bit slower. I mean, there's every color in the rainbow in this thing, so that's cool. crazy. Yeah, it's like orange. I used yellows. to, I used to have the interior one on my Tacoma, 
So it was pretty cool too, but like I just the, hated all the cables. Like yeah. under the footwells and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Those are cool too. Op 7 makes those lights too. Yeah. But I uh, like they them. Was they're, really, they're really bright. Op 7 lights, lighting kits are really, really bright. So. And then you also have the little short antenna. Yeah. Oh, the uh, stubby antenna. Yeah. Definitely a must have. I don't know why GM's still putting those long. <laughs> yeah, I know. I bought one. Long antennas. I bought one and then I couldn't take mine off, so I never changed it. I was like, oh, and now I lost it. So now I need to get another one. But yeah, uh, they just twist. They yeah. just twist. Yeah, you just unlock it and twist it. So um, that's pretty much it. I have a Magnaflow exhaust on this as well, and that is pretty much it. How much in mods do you think you spent so How far? How much I've spent so far? If I had to add it up, the wrap was around 800. Uh, the grill was just over a grand uh, with the lights included. The tires were somewhere around. I'm not keeping track of this whole thing yeah. right now. I'm not <laughs> okay. Add it up. We're at 1.8 right but, now. Okay, you keep the math going. Okay. Um, I think the tires were about four and some change. Let's just say like 420 each or somewhere around there. Four, okay, wait, each hold tire. on. Hold on, hold on. 420 times four plus 1.8. Okay. Okay, I did I put 1.8. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a bad day for math. Mm. Okay, so we are at 3.4k right okay, now. Okay, so with the tires. Now the wheels, I think the wheels This is a very ballpark price. I don't exactly remember, but I think the wheels were somewhere just under 400 a piece, I want to say. Okay. Maybe 350. I mean, just say 350 uh okay. times 4. So that would be what, seven fourteen hundred, I believe. Okay. The so yeah, boards? about so about fourteen hundred for the wheels and the running boards were fourteen hundred plus tax. Okay, so let's do. I'm gonna say fifteen. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the bed cover was just under two hundred. And mm -hmm. the bumper, the rear bumper right here was a no twelve hundred, including tax and shipping. And then the lights, how much were they? The light kit was, I think, I want to say like a hundred and like, like in the mid between one and two hundred. So just say one fifty. Okay. And your exhaust? The exhaust was about a grand. So for real. <laughs> about nine k. Dude, this this <laughs> like is like I half said, of the truck. <laughs> like I said, I'm unprepared to like tell you exactly what everything costs, but about that price right there for everything. Um, and then what else? I have the uh, the decals there, the American flag decals on the side. Those are 20 bucks. Those are crazy Add that though. if you will, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, and the uh, recovery hooks here in the front. Okay. So I have those um, rough country recovery hooks right there. Those were about 140, Each 120, or, 120. Or for both of them? Uh, 120 for the whole set. 120 for the whole set. Let me see, plus 120. Dang, yeah, you're at 9K. So then we have window tint too. That was about just under a grand for the window tint. Because um, it's the like highest level of performing film um, that Lumar offers. So, so you're I, have windshield, I have windshield done and all of the side and rear windows. Okay. So I, it was about 900 bucks for the window tint. So you're at 10K right now. About probably. 10K in mods, yeah. About 10K and that, deep. And that's not included. I mean, I don't charge myself for labor, obviously, but if I were to charge for labor on things like the running boards, that would be that'd be a lot more money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for, the, for sure. For the wrap, it's gonna be a couple grand to get that installed. I mean, uh, and then running boards, they'll probably charge you 500 bucks to install those too at the dealership exactly. or like wherever they do those. A lot of people who wrap charge alone to wrap a truck, maybe like two, two to 10k. Yeah, on top of Easily? material, because material is about like I said, 800 bucks, right? Yeah, but exactly. But they're gonna charge you about 3k for install. Exactly. Um, that's crazy. So you're paying. That's another two grand and some change just in install fees. Sheesh. Uh, in the labor, so. And then of course my underglow did that myself. I my exhaust put on myself. So I saved a lot of labor costs too. Yeah. So for if sure. you were to have all this done, you know, if you couldn't do any of this yourself and want to do have a shop do all of it, it's gonna be a you know, you're looking at almost fifteen grand. Fifteen grand. But I mean It's worth it. It came out pretty cool. What do you think? If it's I worth it. If I couldn't do stuff myself, I'd probably I'd probably pay for all that stuff, yeah. I can't drive stock. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> I get really bored yeah. with my cars and my trucks and it's just, it, I just, I've always loved cars and trucks. So to me, it's well worth it, but that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. That's a whole, that's a, that's like half of the truck or like at least what? 20% of it. My truck was 47 grand, 47 and some change. So that's a good percentage of my truck. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And I mean, 
the only downside to modifying is you don't see hardly any of that back. Like exactly. You don't, like when you go to sell it, they don't really you don't, take into you don't, consideration. No, they don't at all. Like they don't give you that value back in resale. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Yeah, it's kind of one thing to consider when you modify, but. But I mean, you're probably well only, worth it. Only the lime green RST in California. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. Exactly, a hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah. I think we just might be the only GM trucks like these, to be honest. I've never seen a GM truck on the internet wrapped in the um, the Stealth Tundra. Exactly. From KPMF. Like okay, it's a very Tacoma's, like yes. Toyotas Tacoma's, come yeah. with that color though too. Toyotas, yeah. Not in the but satin it's finish. The gloss. Not in the it's, satin yeah, finish though. Exactly. Yeah. So you have the satin finish, which is really cool. It's kind of crazy because like people that know trucks will know that color mm -hmm. in the form of it's even called Tundra. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that's that's, that's crazy. KMF, which is really funny and ironic. That's really crazy. But people that know trucks will know that this is the color that comes on the Toyota TRDs. Yeah. So that right there exactly. makes it pretty cool, but it's also a satin finish on a GM truck. Which probably has a lot of people confused like whoa is that a factory thing or is that a uh, you know what i mean? feel like it makes it look a little bit more aggressive i because yeah. i feel like gms are really look like luxury wise like they you see very, them and you're like oh, yeah, oh this tires? person has money yeah this person has money 100 right. yeah, percent but paid, now you pay 10k more for this truck than the, the chevy version of it exactly, you know what i'm saying so exactly. it's definitely got that like persona to it mm -hmm. of being yeah. more like luxury high-end line of the the gm trucks but with your setup with the wheels your tires like the way you did it with the lift I, it, and your stance too, yeah, the, the exactly. poke you have right there going on, it looks really hard. It looks super sick. I mean, you just you just might have to buy yourself a, a GM, oh, I mean, a GMC, yeah, a GMC. We'll Let's go. I mean, the 2022 Silverado is coming out later this month, mm -hmm. so I'm saving my my pennies for that one right there. But we'll see. Who yeah, knows? We'll find out. Maybe the Sierras will come out with something pretty crazy too. Yeah, because uh, the there's supposed to be an AT4X now. Yeah, which... and then same with the Silverado. The um, ZR2, right? The ZRX. I thought it was a CR2. Uh, they're calling it the ZRX. Oh, no way. On the Silverado. Yeah. I feel like they're trying Which to... Which will be like the Raptor competitor. Oh, okay. And the Ram Rebel, or no, not necessarily the Ram Rebel, but I Ram think that's TRX. like Ram yeah, TRX. TRX. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so... That's we'll crazy. See. It all depends on availabilities and like markups and things of that nature. If I can get my hands on one in a timely manner. But this truck will probably get sold pretty soon if i'm getting the zrx there's no need for this one right here anymore Dang. so yeah we'll see soon to come i mean we might be racing a different truck next Ooh, time Ooh, yeah <laughs> oh i'll have a fighting chance this time in a zrx oh you're done you think so i think so yeah oh absolutely you find out you get the 5.3 again <laughs> mm -hmm. absolutely not i'm pretty sure it's coming standard with the 6.2 do you think so i i'm pretty sure that's what's going on so oh. Nothing set in stone yet, but that's what the rumors are. Okay, so, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Supercharged, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. More to come on September 7th. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be it for the video. So until next time, peace out, guys. Going out, man. I'm all good at home. I'm calling no girl who I know I could bone up. I don't know why.